You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? You killed my son Nelson. This isn't over! You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Now why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Good neighbors of the people, for the people. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real? I'll get the costume for you. I'm in town looking for Henry Cook. I'd appreciate it if you let me know if you hear anything. It's you! They find any of those baseball items I mentioned? Got them all right here. I got your costume, Kent. And some other goodies you might like. There she is. Pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia, too? You're something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. What are you planning next? I'm still working that out. Some details I want to run by you. Well, after you give me the costume, that is. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt or, or his butler, Jarvie Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. Come on, don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the cryo vault and all. Why me? You helped me out when everyone else just laughed at me. And you're from the olden days, just like me. You know how much things have fallen? How much we gotta fight for? To make the place b better? So you win? Looks like I get to be the Shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Step away from my meat, boy. Unless you want to be next. Rumor is you killed Miss Selmy. That true? Selmy? Yeah, I killed the bitch. And her whelp, too. Shouldn't have bothered they barely had two caps between them. You listen to the radio? Someone wants you dead. You threatening me? Are you threatening me? About cooking chems, Claire. It's not all about sampling those chems either. Maybe if you stopped using, you could focus. What? Where's the fun in cooking it if you ain't using it? My mistake. Hi. Oh man, someone new! You need some jet, man? Home brewed? Reasonable prices? Have any work? Yeah, actually, you might be perfect. You know the gunners, right? The high-end mercenaries? Well, a few of them were talking about scavenging around that old hallucinogen building. I mean, just think about that name. There's gotta be some shit there that's out of this world. You get me something, I pay you 200 caps. Fred? We have a deal. You're the best. The absolute best. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. First mate, Congressional Army? Why are you talking like that? This is the pride of our Navy, the USS Constitution. As her commander, it is my privilege to enforce a certain measure of decorum amongst my crew. Why are you even here, on the ship? It's ancient. This vessel has more than once been the seat of our great nation's naval power. Is it not fitting she don this mantle again? And you're in charge here? What? As ordained by the chain of command, the links of which start with our most august admirals and plummet to the lowliest of sentry bots. After all our brothers in arms perished, I reluctantly assumed command. Your lookout told me to come up here. Why? I confess, we need your assistance. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. Be calm these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings alone! I spit at you. A sad state of affairs for such a historic ship. Frankly, I can't believe this hunk of wood is still in one piece. On that, we are in agreement. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have not but more rats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. Just tell me what you need. Good man. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. 
They will relay your instructions. This <laughs> from exuberance, and not because I've been reprogrammed five times to wholeheartedly embrace these marvelous turns of phrase and, and acronisms. My metal heart burns with a fierce love and affection for our captain. Huzzah! You certainly have, Pep. Much obliged for the compliment. But on to the mission of the day. Our last marine expedition valiantly returned with much needed supplies, including replacement power cables, sir. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself unequal to the task of repairing the cables myself. I'll get right on it. My anxiety emulators are lightning by the microsecond. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me to accept my undying gratitude. It is an honor to crew such a storm.
patrolling. Hey, Bosun. How? Oh, course is through the Constitution's veins. Again! Her systems, long starved, fricata life! <laughs> A hearty congratulation. Huzzah! However, this has brought to light further failures in a power grid. The power relay, to my shame, I previously complained about is fluctuating wildly. Why are you ashamed of that? Back for morale, sir, there were dark times. But I made all manner of baseless complaints against the captain, the manner in which his ship is run, and the plausibility of our sacred mission. But now, I see the error of my ways. And with your help, perhaps I can atone. Power relay coils are a common enough part. Might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely, they would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following seas. Light rolling. Flows far and steady. I would applaud you. Alas, who can I? Due to my lack of clapping instruments. But huzzah, sir. Huzzah. So no more problems with the power? Area one. It flows like a veritable torrent through our cables. If I may say so, the surgeon would be proud. I require no further assistance. But our Mr. Navigator is also beset by troubles. Scuttle buddies, our guidance system is on our last legs. If you've not already, speak to him. Fare thee well. It is an honor to crew such a story, that's all. Ahoy, soldier. Scavenger threat eliminated. Damage assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. Why did the scavengers attack? Scavengers have attacked ship 17 times. Destroyed 13% of ship's systems. Stole 5% of ship's store. Logic error. Captain's orders authorize scavenger termination only if necessary to preserve the ship. If they've attacked you 17 times, why don't you fight back? This unit suggests Captain's core processes in need of extensive maintenance. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. Who stole your guidance chip? Guidance chip is one entry on the list of stolen items. Reclaim chip at Scavenger's forward recon station. Captain has approved a bounty for its return. Lethal force is prohibited unless absolutely necessary.
Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use, sir. Hey. Don't shoot! Those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders. They weren't trying to frag ya anyhow. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. Sounds like I was just in the wrong place. It happens. Hey, Mandy. Don't shoot! Those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders. They weren't trying to frag ya anyhow. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. Mandy. Don't shoot! Those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders. They weren't trying to frag ya anyhow. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. So they were scavengers, but not with you. Well, they were kinda with us. I mean, we're not really used to working together. It's not like anyone is in charge. But we do have an agreement. Everyone works together, gets an equal share. When you waltzed aboard the ship, those assholes just kinda lost it. They broke our agreement and paid for it. How did you get aboard anyway? We thought you were gonna get cratered for sure. He knew I was an army veteran, so he let me on the ship. Army? Isn't that some old world mumbo jumbo? Whatever. So, you got to see the inside, huh? All that salvage. The real mother load. Just waiting to be stripped and sold. So, it all boils down to greed. Like it always does. Hey! If we sell those gizmos, uh, I don't know, they could help orphans and stuff. Us humans could use it a lot more than those robots. So you talked with a tin can. What do you have to say? Ironside says you stole a guidance chip. He wants it back. His guidance chip, right. You know what he needs it for, his rockets. The huge goddamn rockets on the side of his boat. He's nuts. I'm sure there's a good reason he needs them. You seriously want to help that idiot bolts for brains? Screw that robot and come work with us. There's dozens more of us nearby. It's only a matter of time before we come out on top. I'm not splitting my share with him. You holding out on us, Davies? You got some magical way in there? This guy's got a free ticket aboard, so shut up! Help us destroy that freaking tin can once and for all. No deal. I'm with Ironsides. You're siding with that daft robot? Then screw you, asshole. You're lucky we don't gun you down. I don't have time for the likes of you. Hi. Those scavers are under our protection. It would be better for all of us if you just leave. Hey, Mandy. Way to turn down the chance of a lifetime loser. Clear about thieves. Nothing personal. Wait. What? Let's the... do this.
Now we're having fun. Hell no. You're not going anywhere. If the scavengers keep seeking folly and destruction, I will reluctantly oblige them. Ahoy, soldier! Chip recovered. Dispensing bounty. Diagnostics report. One error remaining. Guidance radar's transmitter is not functional. Requires replacement. What's wrong with the transmitter? Diagnostic inconclusive. No functioning Mr. Handy's available for detailed analysis. Acquire Poseidon radar transmitter at specified map coordinates. Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, sir. Defending the Constitution. Show yourself. Shite, what happened to 
them. Gonna use you to scrape the mud off my boots. Interfering with a law enforcement robot is a felony.
place. You're wasting your time on that thing. Interfering with a law enforcement robot is a felony. Me, you coward! Gotta come out sooner or later! I wanted a fight! This better be worth her time. Yeah, yeah. 